Uh, unfortunately, the damage has kind of been done for a lot of folks trying to get home today, too, Ron. I know Matthew Torres is on the road right now. I believe you're on I-40 near an accident in the Mount Juliet area. Is that correct? Hey, I'm Bree. Good morning. Yeah, we just got to the scene right now. We again are on I-40 East here, Mount Juliet, just before uh, exit 226 right now. As you can see, we are here in our breaking news vehicle as we zoom into this uh, crash. Again, this involved two vehicles. Obviously, this right now is a jackknife. Uh, tractor trailer. The crews here, we have THP working the scene right now, uh, hoping to remove this trailer soon because uh, it looks like three lanes are blocked at this very moment. So all of the vehicles coming through are, it's going through one lane. So that is what's causing the backup uh, here at this very moment. So again, we are waiting to get more information about this. So far, we have not heard of any serious injuries. So far, just non-life threatening. Uh, but again, THP now working here, the scene of this jackknife tractor trailer that blocking three lanes here i-40 east just before the belinda parkway exit so anyone traveling through wilson county you will have to slow down as this traffic alert is still on again one lane it has been reduced to but this is just a scene that we are looking at as they are working to clear this uh, we are told the other vehicle is back behind us so again hopefully we'll get more information but again traffic alert major backup here on I-40 East in Mount Juliet to so be very careful uh, this evening. We'll send it back over to you guys in the studio. Oh, Matthew, thank you so much. You hate to see that too. I know um, 40 out of Mount Juliet heading into Nashville this morning was a parking lot. So folks in the Mount Juliet and the Lebanon area really having a tough time with the morning commute and that drive time home. And that's such a popular exit with all of the, the, um, the grocery stores, Publix and Kroger over there too. So Unfortunately, I need to give folks a call and say I'm going to be probably 20 minutes, maybe even a little bit more than that behind tonight.